Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share my experience exploring Nebraska. Most travel guides feature the zoo as the primary attraction, but I'm here to suggest some off the beaten track recommendations for a fun yet educational tour of the state. Nebraska is a hidden gem in the Midwest known for its large food portions, historic spots telling stories about pioneers and nature spots with one of the greatest migrations in the world. Omaha is the biggest city in Nebraska that borders the neighboring state Iowa and you can literally walk between the two states. As we live in Seattle, we found that direct flights to Omaha were too expensive. So we booked one-way flight to optimize our travel time and cost. We took a flight from Seattle to Vegas, stayed there for a day to explore a national park, then flew from Vegas to Omaha, stayed in Omaha for three days and explored the places around, then took a night layover in Denver before finally flying back to Seattle. Talking about the transportation, cabs are very cheap in Omaha and buses are not so efficient, so we preferred cabs over public transit to save time. On the first day, we reached Omaha and headed straight to the Durham Museum, just 15 minutes ride from the airport. We explored the museum and learned about the interesting history of Nebraska. Our first stop in Omaha is one of the finest art deco buildings in US. This is a national historic landmark and is a must visit place in Omaha. Keep watching the video to see what all we explored in the museum and don't forget to subscribe for more travel and food videos. The museum is housed in a beautiful historic building which was originally the Union Station. The museum showcases the rich history and culture of the region. Moreover, it offers a wide range of exhibits and displays including interactive exhibits, photographs, artifacts and documents that showcase the social, cultural and economic history of the Midwest. From transportation to the impact of various culture on the region. Time flies quickly inside the museum as the exhibits are extremely interesting. We were here for more than two hours exploring every nook and corner of the museum and were thoroughly enjoying our time here learning about the history and fun facts about Nebraska and the Midwest. For lunch, we headed to the historic soda fountain shop which was originally part of the Union Station and tried a few of their signature dishes. Next, we headed to the Old Market which is an 8-minute walk from the museum. We explored the beautiful shops and eateries around. We also visited the Old Passageway, a hidden gem of the city and a must-visit when in Omaha.
Later in the evening, we headed to Bob Carey Bridge to watch a breathtaking sunset. So we have now reached Bob Carey Bridge, which is a beautiful bridge between the two states, Nebraska and Iowa, and we can literally walk over the bridge and cross these states. Walking across the Bob Carey Bridge is definitely a must do if you are in Omaha. It's a great way to get some exercise, enjoy the outdoors and take in some amazing views. So if you are ever in the area, be sure to check it out. I'm in Nebraska. I'm in Iowa. We then headed to a hotel, bought some pizza from Casey's and called it a day. On the second day, we rented a car from the Evis and headed to Kearney to watch the sandhill cranes. But before that, we took a small detour to the capital, Lincoln City. We visited the stunning state-of-the-art Nebraska State Capitol building and to make the most of our time, we took the free tour happening every hour. The State Capitol building is a stunning architectural masterpiece that was completed in the year 1932. It is the second tallest capitol building in the US and features unique art deco style interiors that is both modern and classical. The building is made of limestone and features beautiful artwork, intricate carvings and impressive mosaic. Although we didn't have the time to visit the observation deck, but we highly recommend taking the elevator to the 14th floor and get a breathtaking view of the Lincoln City. Next, we visited the Sunken Garden, a beautifully landscaped garden that spans over 1.5 acres and features a wide variety of colourful flowers and plants. But it seems like we visited in the wrong season, so hopefully we will get a better view of the garden next time. We then continued our journey to Kearney and reached the Crane Trust Visitor Centre. The Crane Trust Visitor Center located in the Wood River is dedicated to the conservation and study of the sandhill cranes that migrate through the area every year. The center features interactive exhibits, educational displays and hand-on activities that provide visitors with an in-depth understanding of the crane migration. We ate lunch at the visitor center and explored the banks of the Wood River. However, the sighting was still a few hours away, therefore we decided to drive a little further to explore the Platte River banks. We waited here for 30 minutes, after which we were able to hear some faint calls. In about 10 minutes, the sky was filled with sandal cranes going back home. Turn up the volume to listen sandal crane calls and do watch the video till the end to see what amazing things Nebraska has to offer.
After driving continuously for three and a half hours, we finally reached Omaha. We stopped by a Chinese restaurant to grab some dinner before calling it a day. Day three is when we headed back to Seattle. Our flight was at 4 p.m., so we had some time to explore the downtown Omaha. But before that, we made a quick pit stop at the Avis Center to return our car. We began our exploration at the Pioneer Courage Park, a beautiful sculpture park located in the heart of the downtown. The park exhibits enormous bronze and stainless steel statues dedicated to the pioneers. If you find yourself in downtown Omaha, do give this place a visit. We then headed to Kitchen Table for brunch. It is a farm to table restaurant and one of the best places to grab brunch in Omaha. Next, we headed to a cool antique store in the old market that has an amazing collection of all the cool things you can imagine. From superhero stuff to Harry Potter, from manga comics to WWE action figures. We stopped by Nebraska's most popular coffee shop and tried their signature drink, Caramelicious. The taste is 5 on 5 for sure. And lastly, we visited the largest candy store in Nebraska. Hollywood Candy is one of a kind store located in the heart of Omaha. Established in 1970, this store has been a staple in the community for over a century. The store brings you hard to find treats from around the world. In addition to candy, the store also offers a selection of soda, ice creams and other treats. But what really sets this place apart is its unique atmosphere. The store is filled with vintage stuff including movie posters, toys and other collectibles from the past century. Moreover, the store's owner have created an immersive experience that transports the visitors back in time, making it a popular destination for families, tourists and nostalgic seekers. With its incredible selection of sweets and its fun retro vibe, Hollywood Candy is a must-visit destination in Omaha. Our journey back to Seattle was long. There were no direct flights, so we had a 17-hour layover in Denver. We were very tired due to the continuous traveling and so we decided to rest it out in Denver. I hope you guys found this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications on my new videos.